Hey there guys and welcome back to Banished. It's the start of year 7. We've we've not actually got a lot going on. I'm waiting for this house to be built, but apart from that, there's nothing in progress currently. However, we do want to add a gatherer's hut out here. It's unfortunately going to cover quite a bit of water, but I think that's sort of where we want to. It won't have a path out to it, just because I really can't bother to try and build a path through the forest. Not to mention, there's barely a way round this mountain. In fact, I probably should have checked this first. It's uh, There is two blocks that I can get the path round this mountain in. So, um, I can do it. <laughs> it is possible. But it's not ideal. Um, other than that, it's probably worth sort of placing but not starting construction of the next six houses so instantly pause all of them and then let the game play again just ready for the next bit of expansion we need to sort out more food production really before they are built which is kind of what I'm doing the gatherer's hut and why I did this second pasture which hopefully once the sheep increase in will help so obviously not going to get a lot of mutton while the sheep are breeding we have plenty of labourers at the moment that's an unusual one um, Maybe a second vendor would be a good idea. I don't, I don't know why you'd ever need 12 vendors on this. But we'll work with it. And apparently more builders. Yeah, I guess if we're going to need to bring builders out here. Wherever. It'd be good to have some. There we go. Doesn't need much. I need 30 logs of 12 stone. Uh, I mean, we don't have any of that, but. By the time we cleared the area, maybe we will. I'm also going to ask them to clear all resources from this space. Just round the mountain, but not. This side needs to still be a forest, but this area I can start clearing out. Probably won't be used for a bridge. I might start putting mines on this hill eventually when I need the mines. They need to be the side of a mountain. The other place they can go is down here. There's a nice flat cliff here. Um, accidentally hit the spacebar there. I'm using a different keyboard to normal, and the spacebar is really easy to accidentally hit. <laughs> accidentally pause the game. Before I did it the first time, I didn't even know you could pause the game in space. So it's it's a learning curve. <laughs> I've had the game for several years, still learning the controls. Uh, right. Uh, there's people crossing the bridge, so I assume that means like stuff is happening out here. Yeah, they're picking up the stone and they're picking up the wood. This house is almost got enough stone. He says there needs nine more, which we should have lying around. Still got seven students, ten kids. We need need to keep going on the house production if we want to keep up the number of kids. We're not really making them fast enough. If someone would bring over the last three stone, that would be ideal. Oh, you had it, but you've put it down over there, not over here. Do you have it? You're on the stone? There you are. There we go. No, it needs one more. Seriously, you only bought two of the three. There's another two over here. You could have just picked that up as well. There we go. Coming with the stone. You're going to put it in here. Now we're ready to build. 45 build cycles. Meanwhile, the gatherer's hut probably has nothing. Where is it? I've lost it. There it is. Yeah, it's not got anything yet. Probably because it's not got a path over there. But how would I build a path over there? There's just too many trees in the way. It's not certain what to even try at the moment. I can't put a path out the back here either. Not that I feel it's necessarily worth it. I'm wondering if I could get another house. No, there's one tile that prevents me getting one in there. 
there's just a nice sort of empty space there then that we can't use. That's great. Um, what else? Oh, that house is done, so the gatherer's hut should be the next job. But I also want to instantly start work on the next house because you can. We're not keeping up with the houses, as already dis established. So, building more will not go amiss. On top of that, maybe another field. I don't, I'm not a fan of these crop fields. They don't produce as much as I expected them to. It's not like before this playthrough, I'd always started with crop fields as my first source of food. Year one, food source, crops. It's a terrible idea. Year one food source should be a gatherer's hut, if you can get it up quickly enough, and a fishing dock. It's so much better than crop fields. My crop fields are only here for the variety. How do you do for the uh, coat? You make warm coats. <laughs> Look, straight off I'm making warm coats with the start of the sheep. And we make a limit of 150. That's because I might want to use them for trading when I get the trading post up, which needs to be soon, really. I need to be able to trade shortly. I um, don't know where I'm going to put the trading post. Maybe over here. Maybe on this bank. If it will fit. Uh, point there, and it won't there. Yeah, maybe not then. Maybe I will not put it on this bank. I could put it there, right across from the fishing dock. Yeah, that's not terrible. Uh, I'll pause the construction, don't want to do it instantly. How are we doing out here? Still nothing. We are clearing the resources though, which is an improvement on previously. This house is almost done. Yeah, we need to up the priority of this gatherer's hut because they are not working on it. Hopefully that will uh, that will make a difference. We'll see. It's already autumn and they've done no work on it, so it's not brilliant. But I guess we'll accept it as what it is. This might be used for in the future. This area is a stockpile. Now, I've not had any fires yet. I can't remember what settings I used at the start. I've only just edited episode one. Um, I feel like I left. I, I I would have thought I'd have left on stuff like fires. My last try there. Yeah, the last time I played the game, I got loads of them. I couldn't have enough wells lying around. I've not had any fires this time. I don't know if it's because I've gone straight to stone houses, so I've got barely any wooden buildings, but... Oh, the uh, house is done. Still mid-twenties moving in together, so still not keeping up. Got plenty of houses recently, but we're getting a real town going on here. But I guess... So I get them trying to build a gatherer's hut out here. No one wants to walk out to it. Well, they are getting out here now, though, so they are working on it finally. Where working on it is they chop down some of the trees. There we go. Oh, but one of the trees is chopped. Yeah, they won't bring resources to it until all the trees are chopped, and they weren't going out there to chop trees because they had these ones to chop first. Oh well. They're working on it now, so that's something, I guess. It's already late autumn, uh, the farms have already stopped, we have plenty of labourers now, because I can't build enough buildings for them to work in, apparently. Maybe I'll turn on the trading post then, it needs quite a bit of wood and stone, but we have to be chopping down a forest. This place is now ready to start having stuff provided to it. Oh, right, okay. We'll pause the trading post briefly then, just to let the gatherer's hut get its uh, required wood and stone. Then the trading post. So, trading post will probably be year 8. Gatherer's hut will just be built in year 8. Trading post will be given its resources in year 8. And we'll try and get some more of these houses done. Probably not all five of them, but maybe two or three. Just to keep up with the increasing population. 
We're struggling on coats. Why? We've got wool. We've not got leather. So it is leather that's the issue with the coats. We're not making a great deal. It would be good to get a second hunting cap, but maybe with the gatherer's hut. I'm not sure. But we do need more leather coming in. So we've got a lot more than we do wool at the moment. Which is weird because it produces, uh, I guess, produces about the same amount, but I've got two fields producing wool. Job and I, but I'm still not there, won't be producing much in next year. But oh well. How are we doing? Got all the logs, half the stone. Is one of you coming over with the rest of the stone? No. No, neither of you are. Great. But oh, you can walk this way. I, I would not be able to get a path in this way. Maybe a tunnel. Rarely a good idea trying with tunnels in this game, but <coughs> maybe in the future. I mean, it's not long to go round. This ridge, again, I can sort of go round. I don't need a tunnel. Yeah, rarely are you in a position where you need to use a tunnel. Often you can, but rarely do you need to. Maybe to get into this area I would. Just across this little ridge. If I ever want to get in there. There we go. Gather as high as under construction now. We can turn on the trading post. Took all year to get the resources over here, but we've done it. It's now just 45 build cycles and we're done. Uh, the trading post, even if we have it, I probably won't be able to use just because I won't have stuff to trade in it. It's why I'm trying to get more warm coats. They're quite... quite pricey, so they're quite a good thing to trade. Quite a valuable commodity. Normally I end up trying to trade berries and onions because I have plenty of them, but I really don't want to trade food if I can help it. Especially as they're not worth a lot. You know, I don't need to trade tons. How are we doing? Almost that logs. We have enough logs, it's going to be stone that's the issue. So once again we're going to come in and resource clear stone in this area. Well that's the end of year 7, so we'll wrap it up there. We, we've got the, uh, got the gatherer's hut almost... Oh it is built! We did finish building it. Okay, I can assign some people to it then. Uh, plenty of people. All four people, in fact. And the trading post should be done next year. So, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you next time.